you want to learn more about me and why I like this skunk, stay tuned. Hey, today, kittens, I found a new video I want to start doing. Um, I want to do it a couple times anyway. Uh, I don't really know the official rules and I'll have to look those up. But this is going to be my first one and then we'll see where it goes from there. It's five random objects. Which you take five random things that you care about and you tell the story behind them and why they mean so much to you. So first thing is Mr. Skunk. His name is Beauregard. Um, he didn't originally have a name to my husband died. Um, and Beauregard was the name he always said our firstborn child would be named. So he got the name Beauregard because of that. Um, so he he totally has evolved in his story um, because of that. But his original story is when I was 16, about to turn 17, I had a cyst the size of a grapefruit on my right ovary that I had to have surgery for to be, um, the cyst had to be removed. Um, I was very scared in that surgery and my dad went to the gift shop, which in itself is a feat because gift shops are incredibly expensive and he bought me this skunk and a grin and I don't have him anymore a tro that was the Grim Ripper um, which was a very scary thing to wake up to the next morning after surgery the Grim Reaper staring you in tro form in the eye but I loved my Grim Reaper and I've just went through too many moves for him to make it through all the moves so I don't have him anymore. I really wish I did have him still because I really like that Green Reaper Tro. He had orange hair and his um, it was white face but it glowed in the dark and he had the, the little safer and the um, hood and all. I really wished I could have another one of those because that was a cool Tro. But I've lost him. But this Bill Skunk has made it through and the neat thing about him is he does have a purpose. He has like a total pocket and I remember in the hospital I would put like candy bars and like treats in him to hide them where nobody knew I had treats and that's why his tail has chocolate on it on both sides because he was my little treat hider. Um, since then I have kind of warped into um, he's my friend. I put him up above me and if I want to randomly talk to someone when no one's around I do talk to him. Uh, fun fact. I talk to stuffed animals and I'm 40 years old but anyway <laughs> but he's just been my buddy ever since that event in my life and his name is Beauregard because of my husband um, now the next thing is also attached to my husband um, me and my husband had the odd tradition to get gifts for each other for Mother's Day and Father's Day even though we didn't have kids we would say this is what our kids would got you and my husband um, loved making stumps what he called some stumps and he made me this for like um, one of my last Mother's Day with him um, and he said this would be what 
your kids would have made you um, because he said if we had kids I would totally have taught them how to do stumps and so this would probably be what the, the littlest ones would have made you it's just a bird glued onto a stump but I cherish it because he made it and he said that this is what our kids would have made me and I just cherish it because of that um, to me a gift that is thought out um, and has love behind it is the best gifts to get if they're homemade if they're cheap if they're still got a lot of forethought behind them I really appreciate them and love them even them even if they wasn't expensive like this one right here my friend Paula which we call each other sister because we're so close um, got me this a um, little cool he's not that expensive but I put him on the side of the bed um, that I wake up on because he reminds me to smile every morning and that I have a shelf over there I call my friendship shelf that I put things that my friends get me on and I look at it and it makes me smile that someone cared enough to get me something and this is Mr. Sunshine. Yes, I am one of those people that has to name everything. And he is Mr. Sunshine. Um, the next thing in my random objects is another thing from a friend. Um, and I really like this because this friend... Um, and he cannot see the writing on it. I know this friend means every word of what's on the plaque, but you cannot see it because um, he's been my very best friend since high school. And the story behind him and me becoming friends are just is this priceless because he was like my knight in shining armor, and he helped me with a, a guy that was kind of stalking me at school, and. We've been friends ever since. It says friends are like stars. You can't always see them, but you know they're there they are there. And I know that for a fact because me and him have been friends for like twenty five plus years. So and we do kind of we're both introverts um, and that means that a lot of times we don't stay in touch like we should but we still know each other is there and thinking well wishes of each other and then the next thing and the last thing for this is this little maroon that I totally didn't think I was going to get and my friend Kay hey Kay um, my friend Kay gave me this um, as a love gift to cheer me up and also it symbolizes that I can make new friends and that there are people out there in this YouTube world that care and I hope someday me and Kay actually do get to meet in real life because Kay is such a sweet person and she's like almost become instantly my best friend also and thank you very much Kay for being out there and praying for me and caring for me and I just wanted to put an object that you sent in this first because I wanted to show kind of the people that care about me and friendships in this one um, and I love this little macaroon um, it goes on the friendship shelf as well I just kind of got mostly this stuff from my friendship shelf all oh, but my buddy here um, which he stays on the bedside or uh, the headboard right over me because he's my little guardian 
guardian um, animal. <laughs> but if you like these um, five random item videos, please do give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below where I know to think of five other ob or think of five other objects to do another one of these. And I will see you in my next video. If you hadn't already, please click that subscribe button. We always have room for a new kitten here. And I love you all very much. And enjoy life. Don't just enjoy life. Be kind to one another. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.